Are you guys ready to make your text pop off the screen? Let's head over to Canva and make some 3D text. First thing we're going to want to do is go grab some text. I'm working on a video format just because I want the bigger box so we can see better when I'm doing this tutorial, but you can do it in any format you want to. Um, you can do it in regular post, whatever. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to ungroup this one. Make sure your text is big and chunky. That's what you're going to want to do there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'll change the background so we can see a little bit. I'm going to just put it as a gray so you can kind of see. And then I want to change my text to white. I want to go in effect. So I'm going to do the double color background first. And then we'll see, we'll go play with another thing after that. So to do that, I am going to go into outline. I'm going to pick my first color which I like pink. And then I'm gonna go and take the thickness all the way up to 200. Then I'm gonna duplicate this one, layered it on top, change my color. I like this blue. I'm gonna take this blue as my second color. And then I'm gonna reduce this down to 100. So I can type that in right here. I can put 100, enter. And now that I have that the half the size. So now I'm gonna duplicate it again and I'm gonna put None for the second right here. So I'm gonna go and line that up over top and then I'm gonna put my shadow. Now, depending which way you wanna go with your, if you wanna go this way or this way is how you're gonna do your shadows. So if I wanna go up this way, I'm gonna put my shadows on this side. If I wanna go the other way and go down this way, I'll put my shadows on the, on the opposite side, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to turn my shadow, definitely the color of that, to black. And then I'm going to start manipulating my shadow. So I got my shadow going this way, so I'm going to have my text going up the, in this direction. But if I put the direction the opposite way, let's go the opposite way like that, I'm going to have my text going down. If that makes sense. So we're going to do it going down this way because I kind of like that better. Then you want to start working on your blur your transparency. So I usually do the very back one kind of dark. So it'll kind of like really lift off the page. And then when you like, you get it to where you want it, what you're going to do next is you're going to duplicate that page. You are going to put it on top of the one that you just created. And then you're going to click in the direction that you're going. So I'm going this away. So what I want to do is click right twice, one, two, and down to one, to on my keypad. So I'm using my arrow keys to do that. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate that again and do the same thing. So I'm going to line it up over top of my last one. I'm going to go and click it again and I'm going to go over to one, two, and down two. And you can make as many layers as you want to to make it as thick as you want. I usually do about three of the, the individual ones. And then if you want to, to kind of get your shading a little bit better, go into position. And what I was doing is you go in here and then you go back into effects and then you can start working on your transparency stuff. So if you want to lighten it up to start kind of making it and adding the blur, let's see. So it'll kind of start fading through here better. You can start manipulating that to get it just whatever way you want you to kind of make it more solidified if that's a good word for it so like i'll go into position and i'll take this top one and i'll go into effects and and maybe i'll blur that up some more and i'm going to look over on this one for my blur and stuff since this line is in my way and it's hard to see so i'll just start making my blur and, and i don't want to mess my with my direction or my offset just my transparency and my blur so you can take the transparency down and start showing that white more through to make it more blocky looking. And like I said, you can add as many layers as you want to. You can just keep going and make it thicker and thicker, but I would kind of start lightening my stuff up afterwards. So you are just going to layer it on top and then to right to down and you can do that. And if you want to just make it look 3d and you don't want the background part, you can, oh, let's just duplicate this page because I want to show y'all something else. We're going to duplicate this page. 
And then I'm going to take these parts out. I'm going to trash this and trash this. And now you just have, if you want to do it that way. So now you just have 3D text coming off of the page. That's number two. And then I can go over to elements and add for this to make it a little bit more. I can go splash, enter here, go find me some splashes and take that. And let's see, where's a good splash? That's not a very good one. I don't like that one. Okay, that one's good. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to take my color. I did that pink. I'm going to put that get my position tab. I'm going to put it behind there. And then you can just do like something like that and kind of really jazz up your background a little bit and then like see duplicate that and then we'll make it the blue color and you can go down and kind of take that position and you want it where the blue is. So you want to go here and then you can have the, something like that and kind of jazz that up a little bit. And I just think that just a little bit more fun to try to do that. You can put all kinds of shapes you can color back there. So the third thing I did, so let's, let's start a new one. And we're going to go over here and we are going to add a text heading. I am going to do my name. We are going to go get a big chunky text. What do we got? That's chunky, chunky. Oh, I want chunky. Let's just do a, this archivio. Ah, we said that black one. So let's, we're going to do that. What I am going to do now, I'm making it nice and big. I am going to change it to a pink. I am going to duplicate this. I am going to change it to black. I'm going to go into effects. I'm going to make it hollow. I'm going to layer up over my pink. I am going to duplicate that, layer that back on top, click out, click in, get my arrow keys, go over twice to the right and twice down. Then we're going to duplicate it, do the same, lay it back up on top, go over to, to right, to down, duplicate, lay it back over to the one. You're going to try to lay it over top of the one that you just created, so it's a little bit of a fickle thing to try to do that but it usually does it clicks on its own so what I'm going to do is go click twice over here click down and then I'm going to do one more we're going to do that we're going to line it up I'm going to click on it click down twice over twice over to the right and then I'm going to make one more and this one is going to be my color so I'm going to go in here I'm going to pick this pretty blue right here I'm going to go into my effects again. The hollowness, I am going to make that slimmer. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is start moving this over. So I'm going to use my arrow keys to do that. And I'm going to move it down. And as you see, it starts looking like it's coming off the pages. So I want that blue to kind of hit the edge there. And then you can see like the inside of the box and everything like that. And that's just another cool one. And if I put it on a black background, it really makes it pop. So for me, I do like a gray or something behind there. But for me, you can like really, on my computer screen, for some reason, it just really pops off. I don't know why it does like that, but I don't know if it does on yours or not. But like you do different colors, even if you want to try to fade that into gray. But I mean, it's just another, another way to do that. And I think that's kind of cool. And that's my tutorial on different kind of 3Ds, even though that's kind of 3D, but kind of like a D-boss to some degree. I don't know. A shadow box. Yeah, that's more like a shadow box style. That's what we'll call it. But that's my uh, 3D tutorial. And I thank you guys for stopping by. I love you. I hope you see you on the next tutorial. Bye, y'all.